Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tunnel of gold game in which a cat is going through a tunnel to try to get the gold in the fastest time possible. So let's get started. We're going to go to file and create a new project. Go ahead and title this tunnel of gold. The first thing I want to do is to make this cat sprite much smaller. I'm going to go ahead and make my sprite size 30 and it's going to shrink down your sprite to the correct size. Then we're going to go ahead and make the backdrop. So click on backdrop right here. And then click on the backdrop tab here. And you're going to make the backdrop. To make the backdrop, make sure you are in bitmap, not bitmap mode. You want to be in vector mode, not bitmap mode. So if you are in bitmap mode, go ahead and click on vector and you'll be in vector mode. Vector mode is much easier to work with because you'll be able to copy and paste some things. First, let's make the background. I'm going to go ahead and make a dark brown kind of background here using the square. You're going to go ahead and fill maybe two thirds of the stage up with this dark red earth color. The last little bit that's empty here, you're going to make a blue color. And you can see here in vector mode, it's really easy to be able to resize your squares. So, which is why I like to use them. Okay. And make sure you don't have any awkward gaps anywhere by resizing the squares. It's okay if it's a little bit kind of outside the lines because we won't be able to see it in our game. There. You can preview what you are creating here on the right. Now that we have the earth and the sky, we're going to go ahead and start making our tunnel. Now our tunnel should be a slightly different color than this earth color. I'm going to make mine kind of like a orangey type of color. So maybe something like this is what I'm going to make mine. And what I want you to do is to create two rectangles. One rectangle that is vertical, kind of like this, just make a long rectangle like this. And I want you to make another rectangle of the same color, okay, but horizontal, okay. And try to make the width of the rectangles approximately the same. If they're not perfect, that's okay, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to use these two shapes and you're going to copy and paste them to make some sort of a maze tunnel thing, okay? So how you're going to do that is you're going to click on the arrow button here, you're going to select one, and you're going to drag it to start making some tunnels. And you can see here it already looks like I'm creating a tunnel here, right? Um, to make another block, you're going to select it until it's highlighted in blue, press on copy and paste, and it's going to make a copy of that um, block, and you can drag it around and kind of resize it so you can continue making your maze. Okay, so go ahead and do that and copy and paste the, the squares or the rectangles so that you can start making your maze, and you don't have to copy what I'm doing. You can make it however you want. This is just an example, okay? So I'm just making mine kind of like this, but go ahead and be creative and go ahead and make the maze that you think would be best for this game, okay? So again, you're just selecting and copying and pasting the squares or rectangles actually, not squares so that you can create little tunnels, okay?
right. All right, so I have a little simple maze here. Um, once you are satisfied with your maze, we need to add a prize at the end that the cat must catch. So to do that, you're gonna uh, click on the circle button and I'm going to make some gold. Go ahead and pick like a gold color, kind of like this. And I want you to hide the treasure somewhere in your maze and that's where the cat needs to go. So I might maybe put one gold here and another gold here. And this is kind of where the cat has to go in order to finish the maze, right? Okay, once you've drawn that in, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this uh, background by adding a little bit of grass on the surface of this tunnel entrance here. To do that, I'm gonna click on the line tool. Here where it says outline, go ahead and pick a greenish color. There we go. Maybe this is an appropriate green. Make sure the weight is about, I don't know, about 18. You don't want it to be too thin, otherwise you won't be able to see it, right? And you're just gonna highlight and select and drag your line across. Oh, and it did not translate the color. So to change it, you're gonna click on the line and then I'm gonna go back to that greenish color. There we go, there, okay. Um, back to the line and then I'm just gonna put a little bit right here as well. Okay, and that's it. <clears throat> Once you are satisfied with your background, you can go ahead and go back to coding. To do that, you're gonna click on the sprite down here and click on code, okay? So now let's first code the control for this cat, okay? So first you're gonna click on control sorry, events, and then you're gonna get the one space bar key pressed and you're gonna go ahead and click on up arrow. Then you're gonna drag a point and direction block. You want this to be facing zero and move 10 steps, okay? Go ahead and duplicate this by right clicking and clicking duplicate. Whoops, not this. We wanna duplicate the whole thing, so. Uh, right click duplicate and it's going to make a copy and we're going to go ahead and do all four arrows so we'll do left arrow the direction is going to be negative 90. <clears throat> okay duplicate this let's go ahead and make the right arrow this is going to be positive 90. okay then one more we're going to do the down arrow here Direction is going to be 180. There we go. So now we have the basic controls. You can test it out and you can see the cat is moving around like so, right? Okay. Um, we're going to continue adding a few more, few more codes. Go back to events. We're going to click on the one green flag click button. We're going to add a timer because we want to go ahead and time how long it takes for the cat to reach the gold and whoever has the fastest time is the winner. So to get the timer block, you're going to click on sensing. And if you scroll down, you'll see this button says reset timer, right? We're also going to add a few sounds and of course you can add sounds through the sounds tab, but I also wanted to introduce you to an extension. So let me just move this here. If you click on the blue button here and you click on music, it's going to give you some music blocks. So we're going to use a couple of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with set instrument and we're going to use number 18, which is a steel drum. Then we're going to play the note and it's kind of cool. It uses a piano, but I'm going to use numbers here and we're going to do 0.5 feet. Then we're going to have the cat go to the starting position. To find the starting position, I want you to click and drag on the cat and place the cat on the side grass here. Look at the X and Y direction here. I'm at negative 218, 114, and you're going to type those numbers in. 
into this code block. And you're going to point it in a direction here. And you're going to go ahead and repeat it. Okay, until it's touching a certain color. So we're going to go to sensing. You're going to click on touching color, put that in. The color that we want to be touching is yellow. So to grab that yellow color here, you're going to click on this eyedropper tool down here, hover over the yellow and capture that yellow color, and it's going to pop it right in there. We're going to go ahead and add another if then block. You're going to grab one of these. And then we're going to go ahead and add another sensing block to add another color. So if it's touching the sides, such as this, if it's going to touch the sides, we want it to kind of make a sound. And to, we also want it to kind of turn around and bump off. We don't want it to go through the earth, right? We want it to stay in the tunnel. So that's what we're coding right now. So if it's touching the color of the earth on the side, then we're going to go ahead and make it turn to the right 180 degrees, right? And we're gonna go ahead and make sure we move it 10 steps. So it kind of bumps in and then turns around and goes the other way, right? We're also gonna give it a sound. So let's go back to the music section and we're gonna have it play a drum. For about 0.05 beats, right? Like so. Um, so let's finish up the code of what happens when the cat touches this yellow gold, right? So it, if it touches the yellow gold, it's going. I want the cat to actually say how long it took to get there. So we're going to put the say block. Instead of hello, we're going to actually put the timer block. So go back to sensing. You're going to go down. You see there's a timer block here. You're going to click and drag it and pop it right in there. And then we're going to end with um, a little bit of music to celebrate that the cat found the the gold. So we're going to go back to the music block and we're going to go ahead and play in four notes. We'll start with note 60 for about 0.5 beats. Let's do another note. Let's do 64. And you know what? You can always play around with the keyboard to kind of discover what the notes sound like. Okay, I'm just going by numbers by what I know. So there we go. And then we're also going to make this 0.5. And then we'll go ahead and continue on. And another note down here. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to test it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the green flag. flag. Let's see. The cat is going in. Let's say it touches this thing. Notice how when it touches the earth, it bounces off and turns the other way, which is exactly what we wanted. Cat is going in. Okay, and we're going to catch that gold. Going in. There we go. So that is the time. And it re, uh, shows the time. And that's it. That's a really simple uh, game called Tunnel of Gold. You can modify it by adding maybe a fastest time scoreboard. You, can, you might want to add uh, maybe some coins that it has to pick up in different locations. There's a lot of different ways you can modify it. So go ahead and have fun with this. Um, feel free to add your own twists and hopefully you can learn from this.